All right, fight number two. Here tonight, a battle by the bay. Introducing first, our blue corner. He weighed in at 67.45 kilos. His record stands at one fight and one win. Fighting out of Crittenden Muay Thai, please welcome Matthew Cutright. His opponent in our red corner having his first fight tonight. Weighing in at 68.3 kilos, he trains under Dwayne Glasgow at Bloodshed Muay Thai, Daniel Stapleton. Good evening, we're here at Battle by the Bay Future Champion Series 17. We've got Matthew Cartwright versus Daniel Stapleton. Uh, Three two minute rounds scheduled for this fight under modified Thai rules. This fight's sponsored by Hogan's Hotel at Wellington Point. Um, you know, as you know, we can't have fight shows without our sponsors. They help us get along. So thanks, Hogan's Hotel. Uh, those of you who are local, go down there and get a steak and a beer. Oh, I'd like a steak and a beer. <laughs> See you later, guys. We're all right. <laughs> See you. <laughs> so both guys going to come into centre ring, getting their final words from Brad Vicali. So this will be our last of our first fight fighters tonight. Mm -hmm. So this one's three times two, padded fight, knees to the body, no knees to the head. These boys are in 10 ounce gloves. And we've got round one. With our referee, Brad Vicali, who's been in the sport for 30 years. There's a wealth of knowledge with this man, a wealth of refereeing. For someone that's only 23 years, I don't know how he does that. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd expect a lot of action tonight, guys, at home. Um, Bloodshed Muay Thai, like we said before, do come out with everything. Um, so we'll see, and Corey Crittenden obviously is leading the pack row with already one fight, one win for Matthew. And we've got round one, straight off the bat. Straight off the bat, very strong hits. Good, good kick from Stapleton, straight in there, those leg kicks, nice kicks. Cartwright not face at all. Oh, nice, and beautiful straight, straight punches. Back. Oh, and a big beautiful knee in return. Ball. This is a beautiful fight already. Good, using his different levels. Good, leg kick in return. Good, another leg kick. Good, good punches. These guys have come here to fight. Well, obviously, but. <laughs> beautiful technique, beautiful power. And no, no one rushing, just setting up every shot. Beautiful, and beautiful knees from Bloodshed. Those knees are... I don't want any more. Yeah. These boys are coming out quite sharp, which is great for first time fight and second fight, really. Yeah, good so much as these ones are heavy. Good, nice leg kick in return from Stapleton. May have rocked Stapleton. Good, straight punch, straight into the... The chin from Cartwright to Stapleton. And straight back, good straight punches from Stapleton. Nice right hand on the chin. Beautiful teach. Good, beautiful leg kick from Stapleton. Cartwright seems to slow down a little bit. I think those knees uh, may, may have uh, caught Cartwright. Well, they do, they do take the wind out of there and they do slow you down, knees. Um, Obviously, they're not, they're not the nicest to receive. They were beautiful, hard knees, too. <laughs> Very hard. Good leg kick, good, 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 good in return. Let's see if we got another sweep. No, not quite. Good, good, great. Oh, big heavy hands there. Beautiful first first round from the boys. Wow. Um, I'm going to give that round to Stapleton just. Um, both boys were phenomenal and tough and straight punch and two with our referee Brad Vicali in this fight sponsored by Hogan's Hotel in Wellington Point. Oh, as I said, you can't count cut right out. Cut out like the house on fire. I think he listened to us. Beautiful straight punches and nice heavy, nice heavy accurate stuff from both boys to be honest. I say that and then wild punches get thrown. <laughs> I'd like Cartwright's chin to just go down a little bit. Just just get a little bit of safety, but... Definitely a bit. Good, and we'll see if we got a sweep. Oh, that was a beautiful sweep from Cartwright. There's nothing like slowing someone down when sweeping them onto the ground. Good, a nice, nice leg 
leg kicks, a very, very bloodshed style from, from Stapleton with those nice heavy leg kicks. And good straight punches, look at them go. Both and another leg showing kick. skills well beyond their years of fighting here. I totally agree. Good, and uh, Carl seems to slow down just a, just a little bit in that corner. Just, just regrouping and gathering himself. I think it's yeah, Stapleton's right. relentless pressure. Um, yeah, they're rolling that foot now. Stapleton is just letting loose. The car is on this one. He's watching very, very closely as a great referee does. He needs to stay close to a first fight to make sure that you know, no one's getting hurt. I'd like to see Stapleton, uh, Stapleton start to take the body a little bit more because all those head shots are landing flush on the ground. He's got that side right down. I think Stapleton might be able to finish this if he keeps going. This and we've got to make count, Brad McCarley onto, onto the money and as a professional guys, we go, this is the right call. We've got, to start. we've got 10 seconds to go, let's see how round two is going to finish. If you're unable to protect yourself, Brad will do it for you. He will, he will, and that's what a good referee does. Watch oh, that, it's there, beautiful, and that's the end of the second round. This fight sponsored by Hogan's Hotel in Wellington Point, and that second round is dominated by Stapleton. Um, Carrot has the goods, but he's just been slowed down. I think those knees did it. I think those, the few of those punches just, just might have rattled him a little bit. Um, we, we might have his, his first loss in our hands. Definitely. I, I think the relentless pressure from um, <coughs> Stapleton is definitely playing on um, Cartwright's mind. Cartwright can still win this um, by standing his ground and, and maybe pushing forward a little bit, not letting Stapleton... Uh, be the front foot aggressor. If he comes out swinging like he did last time, he might, he might, he might be able to finish it. I think, from my personal call, obviously this is the unofficial opinion from Brad and myself. But I think, unless uh, Cartwright does do a TKO or KO, Stapleton's got this fight. One hundred percent. So we'll see how we go. We're on to round three for our future champion series seventeen, battle by the bay here in Cleveland. Here we go, let's see how we go. We caught it, Carl like, listen, he's come out, beautiful straight punches. And he's in there, but I think Stapleton wants this win. His pressure is relentless. And his punches are beautiful, so look at that ring control, nice stalking. He's coming back in. Just lining up that left hand to drop in that right. Here we go. Carl is coming in with the knee. You wouldn't think that Carrad has only been training Muay Thai for eight months. I think that's phenomenal. Eight months of training and he's already with straight punches, nice and accurate. Stapleton's coming back. Better on his second fight than I am in my sixth year. And this is where Stapleton is strong in this corner. Wow. He's doing it again. The car is watching this. We heard the call for the And it's over. And he's done it. Daniel Stapleton watching Muay Thai has finished the fight in TKO. I left by Vicari has called it. Well, you know our, our major points in Muay Thai is safety. Yes, it is, a, it is a combat sport, but we do like to look after our fighters. And Brad Vicari is one of the best referees. And for those at home, this is the tough side of the sport that, uh, that we don't get to see very often. Uh, obviously, young Cartwright, uh, visibly heartbroken from that. But I'd love to see him bounce back. He's really got the whole career ahead of him. Well, there's no need to go to the judges' score cards for this one. The front clock gets stopped in the third round, the time of 53 seconds gone, and your winner by TKO, Daniel Stapleton. Great fight by Daniel Stapleton, great right fight by both boys. We know it was a TKO stoppage, but they were fantastic. This fight tonight was sponsored by Hogan Hotel here at Wellington Point. Um, so those of you who are local who couldn't make it down here tonight, go in there for a steak and a beer or just some dinner. Or it's a, a great schnitty. Atmosphere. A schnitty. Palmy or a schnitty. I'm on the salads at the moment.